What is going on, Coffee Nation? In this video, we're going to be talking about the new DLC units and how good they are on Maddening Mode. So the new DLC units, I would recommend unlocking in the mid-game, so anywhere from chapter 13 to 17. The sooner you unlock them, the easier the game will be. So if you want to unlock them like chapter 15, 16, that's probably the most balanced way of doing it. Otherwise, they're going to make some of the easy chapters easier, but honestly, like chapter 12, 13, 14 are generally easy. So I, if you want to just get them right away, just beat it on normal, even on a maddening run around chapter 13, just to run them. Uh, but let's, let's talk about what they do, how strong they are and how they compare to other units that perform a similar role. So Nell is kind of like a spear bruiser. She's very similar to Tamara. She has decent stats overall, uh, base 20 speed at least at level 22, so she's leveled up twice. She's at 20 speed, so she's quite fast. She does have eight builds, so she has eight more build. Now, the crazy thing is she has decent stats right now, but her stats can get even better if you switch her to a different class. On Dragon Child, or I'm sorry, Fell Child, she has lower base values than if you were to switch her to like Halberdier, for example. However, you will lose access to the Fell Stones like the fell dragon stones and each one does different things so this one for example ignores half of the target's defense and res which is really good for killing specific targets for penetrating armor uh, this one is good against cavalry and it also has their def and res so it's really good at killing calves uh, so you have some utility honestly the class is pretty good it's a dragon class and the growth rates are pretty decent. She's a very solid unit. She's probably like an S tier unit even on this because she has all the benefits of being a dragon plus bases similar to Tamara on Picket. Uh, she will have slightly worse stats and won't be as tanky as Tamara, but if you switch her to something else, she does lose the dragon stones, um, but you would be able to run her on another class and she does get base stat increases from going into things like Halberdier, Warrior, Hero, and so on. So a pretty solid unit. Uh, similar to Tamara, Celestia, she's really good as well. She has pretty good speed. She's kind of like a flying mage knight. She has sword and tome access and pretty high base speed. So 21 speed right now. She also has good enough build where Bulganone doesn't really slow her down much. So she can run Bulganone, she could run Leaven Sword. She can run a lot of different things. You could do a Leaven Sword, sword power build on her and it'd be very powerful as well as like speed taker or speed plus five. So that'd be very good. Uh, she could also just stay on Bulganone, which is totally fine. She's very comparable stats to Ivy, but she has more speed. So she's basically just like a stronger Ivy <laughs> in a way with, that doesn't have staff access. Uh, and then we have Gregory. He is very much like Citrine in that he has high magic stat, but terrible speed. He does have okay build, but build doesn't matter when your speed is bad. So essentially what he wants to do is hit really hard with Dire Thunder or hit really hard with something like Thoron. So you could run like a reprisal build where you get him to like half health and then he just pokes things for huge damage. You could run him, you could still run Bulganone and Excalibur and stuff like this, but you shouldn't expect it to double. He would need serious speed fixing before he doubles, but he's very much like Citrine. Uh, his passive, when there are three or more or, or I'm sorry, where there are more foes than allies within three spaces, grants a void plus 20. This is definitely interesting. It, it would lend itself to a void tanking, and this would be easy to set up. So he's kind of, I would say his he's competing with Pandreo for like a sage slot, and Pandreo is way better. So you could run like a Dire Thunder build on him or a Thoron build, but I don't see him getting fast unless you put him on Mage Knight and try to fix his speed in a serious way. But outside of that, I don't think he's... He's okay. He's not bad. He's just not, like, super high tier. <laughs> okay, and then we have Rafal. So Rafal actually is really good and is basically, like, another Panette. The crazy thing, too, his base stats increase if you throw him on Warrior. So he can literally be a second Panette. He has 19 base strength here at level 20. And if you put him on Warrior, I think it goes to, like, 25, which is basically Panette's strength. So... He also has pretty good defense, <laughs> so he's and he has good speed, so he's kind of like a super Panet. He's basically like Panet. If you want two, like Panet is good. Everyone knows this. If you want two of them, you can get them. 
Now, he, him switching classes, I think, makes more sense. I think he should be on, like, Warrior, and that makes him absolutely cracked. I just have him on the Dragon Child just to test out using the Dragon Stones just to see how good they are. Uh, so far, they seem decent. You can't upgrade them, but the fact that they ignore half of defense and res when you attack is pretty nice. He also has a crit boosting passive, so when an ally defeats a spo or foe within two spaces, he gets crit plus 10. So very similar to Panette, he wants crit build, he wants like some kind of holdout advantage, um, wrath build, you know, very similar to Panette. So you could have two of those if you want. Uh, next we have Madeline. She starts out as general. Her speed growth is terrible. I threw on Halberdier just to, just for fun, really. Uh, I ended up just throwing Tiki on her so that she can deal more consistent damage. But she has high strength and high strength growth, so in my opinion, she kind of wants to be a Halberdier. And on Halberdier, she actually has decent defense, so she can still kind of be a bruiser. But her speed she's gonna, is going to you know cause her to get doubled. I don't know that you can fix her speed. So the idea that I was going to use her... Like, the use case was just get her strength really high and just run her on Halberdier. And just eventually give her a crazy weapon that doubles. Uh, currently, she has a good weapon that would double on most classes anyways. But, you know, in her case, I might switch it. It's still really high damage, you know, Fen Solar. So, yeah. You can keep her on tank. She has a decent passive. Takes two less damage if, it, if you're adjacent to an ally. Uh, if you combine this with Great Knights, honestly, she might be a better Great Knight than General. If you combine this with Great Knight, you get more damage reduction when you're in front of, like you're when you're in between and like an ally's behind you and an enemy attacks you. So when you're like being on the front lines, so that's some serious damage reduction. And if you combine something like Gentility with that, you're looking at, you know, seven to nine or whatever damage reduction, just like straight up. So that makes her very tanky. Um, the Halberdier idea is more offensive oriented, but she seems like a decent high strength unit, kind of like an Amber that's already leveled up. So that's like the comparison. So it's like getting an Amber without the investment, <laughs> essentially, because Amber is just high strength growth. All right, and then let's see, get these two. That's everyone. Yeah, that's that's everyone. So yeah, overall, the best of the DLC units, I would say, are the Dragon Twins and the wyvern and then madeline is decent and gregory is decent i wouldn't say they're hard carries i would say the other ones are hard carries madeline and gregory definitely aren't hard carries uh but rafal nell and zelestia are definitely hard carries that could like she could be a to some degree a tamara replacement i don't know that her defense is there though uh, if you switch her classes, like Tamara does have good defense growth, which is something that's often overlooked about her. Uh, so right now she's on Picket, uh, which has 18 defense, but she does have high defense growth. So as she levels up, she starts to get a good amount of defense, which enables her to tank well. Same thing with Gold Mary. But I think as a bruiser, like as a DPS bruiser, like if you just want to kill things, this unit is really good for that. Uh, this enemy is pretty tough, <laughs> surprisingly. So, this guy is... Tw well, that's it. He only has 20 defense. However, she can... So, this is where the Dragon Stones come in. She can use these. Yeah, maybe the damage isn't as good. Maybe you do want to switch her class. I made a Lyra Bow Knight for no reason. <laughs> I mean, maybe there is a reason. I don't know. <laughs> just shooting down flyers. I'm, tr I'm trying some different things out. But yeah, that's it for this one. I just wanted to talk about uh, the classes, how like their overall power level... Maybe it is the case that they're not as good. I, I need to hit, like, endgame maps before I can really tell how strong they are. Also, I'm not running any passives, so that doesn't help. Like, there's no... You know, I'm going to get Lance Mastery or Lance Power after Chapter 17. Maybe that helps her. But the thing is, if I'm running Lance Power, I don't think Fellstone is what I should be running. I should be just, like, hard committing and probably just make her Halberdier. The only unfortunate thing is Halberdier, it looks okay, but this her base class looks really cool. So aesthetically... <laughs> You're throwing out really cool looking stuff, which I would describe as unfortunate, <laughs> personally. <laughs> Alright, you're Lynn, so you're going to help me out here. I'm going to have her, she's going to Astro Storm this thief to wrap up. We're going to kill a thief to finish the video. I think that's a good way. Yeah, let's get rid of this thief. 
No one likes these dudes stealing our little items. So yeah, definitely like and subscribe if you found this useful. Uh, feel free to drop a comment as to how you use these units, how good you find them, especially on maddening mode. Uh, currently, I think they are pretty solid. I don't see like that many downsides, if any. They they have like an obvious role they can fill, and they seem to do it fairly well. So another thing you could do on Madeline is like great weapons to take advantage of her high strength to enemy phase if you want to do that. I don't really put a lot of stock in great weapons. I know some people love them. I prefer one to two range weapons on enemy phase that have like average might so that they can double in one round in response to getting hit. But, you know, great weapons do have a use case. So if you want to use those, maybe that's she's your girl. All right. Peace.